If you're looking for an ultra gentle, super inexpensive facial cleanser for any skin type, this is it. This formulation was inspired by Cetaphil's Gentle Skin Cleanser. I was really intrigued by the short ingredient list, especially since it seemed to be missing a key ingredient. You can make a kilo of this cleanser for about 10 US dollars, which is less than half the cost of Cetaphil's cleanser, and all of the ingredients are super versatile, inexpensive, and easy to get. You might think this formulation won't work from just looking at the ingredient list, but stick around and you'll see how and why it does. We'll begin by weighing out the ingredients for our heated phases. We're going to make a 100 gram or three and a half ounce batch today, which should last you three or four weeks if you're washing your face twice a day. This first ingredient boosts moisturizing and gives the cleanser a rich, cushiony feel. We'll weigh it out in two different parts as we'll need it in two different phases. So weigh 20 grams vegetable glycerin into one small bowl or beaker and 10 grams into a second one, making for a total of 30 grams glycerin. This next ingredient contributes some richness and boosts viscosity. Weigh out four grams cetyryl alcohol. Up next, our cleansing ingredient. So you will need to wear a dust mask to weigh this one out so you don't end up choking and gagging as you work. This gentle anionic surfactant is the sole cleansing ingredient in the entire formulation. Weigh out 0.4 grams finely powdered sodium cocal isothionate, also known as SCI. I know this seems like a really, really small amount, and it is, but it is enough to cleanse while being really gentle on our skin. If you'd like to learn more about these ingredients, I've shared ingredient deep dive videos on both sodium cocal isothionate and cetyryl alcohol, so I highly recommend checking those out. To further boost the viscosity and body of the cleanser, we'll need 0.5 grams soft or clear xanthan gum. And for some skin soothing, moisturizing benefits, weigh out 0.2 grams panthenol, also known as vitamin B5, and 0.1 grams niacinamide, also known as vitamin B3. If you don't have one or both of the vitamins, you can easily replace them with more distilled water. And the last ingredient we'll weigh out right now is 40 grams distilled water. Now, you might have noticed that something is missing. We've got water, several water soluble ingredients, and cetyryl alcohol, which is fat soluble. But there's no emulsifying wax or solubilizer, so how is this going to come together? This might surprise you, but our cleansing ingredient, sodium cocal isothionate, is what's emulsifying this formulation, while the cetyryl alcohol and xanthan thicken and stabilize it. I was so delighted the first time I tried this, and it worked beautifully. We'll begin combining the ingredients by stirring together the sodium cocal isothionate cetyryl alcohol, and 20 grams of the glycerin in a beaker. I'm using a 150 milliliter beaker, as this is the beaker the entire formulation will eventually end up in, so make sure it's big enough for all 100 grams plus room to stir. Up next, mix the xanthan gum and 10 grams of glycerin together until uniform, and then add the vitamins, stir, and then mix in the distilled water. Pop the glycerin and vitamins beaker on your scale and weigh in just 0.03 grams of a 90% lactic acid solution. I recommend wearing gloves while handling this ingredient as it is very acidic. This teensy bit of acid pulls the pH down to a skin friendly level, which we will confirm later on. Weigh that entire beaker, note that weight, and now we can move on to heating. Place both mixtures on your hot plate or in a water bath. And lastly, refill the little water beaker with at least 30 mils or a fluid ounce of water and pop that on the heat as well. We'll need it later. Heat on low until the cetyryl alcohol mixture is liquid and clear, and all three beakers are roughly the same temperature. For a small batch like this one, this should take roughly 20 minutes. Once everything is all toasty, we'll continue by adding 25.27 grams of the hot distilled water to the cetyryl alcohol mixture. This next bit is my favorite part of making this cleanser. As you stir that mixture, scraping down the sides constantly, it will thicken into a really funky, glossy, semi-translucent gel. When that happens, weigh the xanthan gum mixture that's still on the heat, replace any water that evaporated while it was heating, and then add that to the gelled mixture and stir to combine. 
Because there's so little surfactant in this cleanser, we don't have to worry about it kicking up a bunch of bubbles, but you still want to be relatively gentle so you don't work too much air into the cleanser. Once the cleanser is uniform, leave it to cool to room temperature. When the cleanser has cooled off, all that's left is adding the preservative and ensuring the pH is in a good place for our skin so the cleanser is as gentle as possible. To preserve, weigh in 0.5 grams liquid Germal Plus. You could use a different water-soluble preservative if you want to, but be sure to follow the guidelines for whatever preservative you're using as its usage rate and pH needs could be different. When you test the pH of the cleanser, it should fall in the 4.5 to 5.5 range. If it's lower than 4.5, you want to raise it, and if it's higher than 6, you'll want to lower it. For more information on pH testing and adjusting, please read the partner blog post. It includes lots of helpful links and more detailed instructions, and as always, it is linked in the description box below, and it's totally free. Once you know the pH is in a good place, it's time to package it up. I'm going to use a rectangular pump top bottle from Yellow Bee for this batch, but I've also been enjoying using a squeezy bottle with a flip top cap for my test batches. With this particular bottle, you need to spring the pump before you fill it, so make sure you do that if you're using one of these. Use as you'd use any foaming facial cleanser. I usually begin by using micellar water or an oil cleanser to remove any waterproof eye makeup. Next, I'll work a small amount of this cleanser up with a splash of water between my palms, massage it into my skin, and then wipe my face clean with a damp microfiber cloth. Cetaphil says their cleanser can be used without water, so you can do that too for more of a cold cream style cleanse. I'm not crazy about using it this way, but it definitely works. When we compare my formulation to Cetaphil's, mine is a wee bit thicker and has a more substantial, cushiony skin feel, which I really like. Now, if you'd like to try something on the other end of the spectrum, something with lots of lather and some color, why not check out this video where I dupe the Bath & Body Works foaming hand wash. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and happy making.